Good afternoon, all you lovely people. Welcome to What's Up 231. Back to the league races. This is round 18, meaning we have this race and just two more before the end of the season. And this is another time trial of one lap of the Watopia flat course. My original intention was to turn up, pootle around, get one point, and be done with it because I've been I've not been on the bike for a couple of weeks. I was cruelly struck down by what I'm pretty sure is the plague. Um, I'm pretty recovered now, but I've not done any exercise or preparation for this at all. Apart from I did play some five-a-side football last night, but I use the word played in its loosest sense in that I kind of hobble around at the back of the pitch, just taking up space and looking like I'm contributing when I'm not. So obviously that was my intention, just to get the point and go. But it has since come to my attention, I need more than one point for this race to have any bearing on my league position. In that obviously our worst point hauls from previous races get stricken from your total. And I have a number of one point races already in the bag. So I need at least two points in order to wipe one of those off and actually improve my league point total. Did that make sense? I think it did. In my head it did. So, I'm actually going to have to put some kind of effort into this. I checked out the guys nearest to me in the league. Actually, I've written down the points. So my closest rivals that I can see in the league, certainly of those that have done the required number of races, Dwight Williams, 42 points, Paul Elliott Kowalczyk on 50 points, and myself on 52 points. As you can see, I'm looking behind me rather than ahead, because I think next up the road from me, I think it was Jane, Jane Coates maybe, who has a pretty substantial points advantage. So there are some other times that I've noted. Now these guys I consider rivals on a race to race basis, not necessarily in league positions. Uh, we've got PJ Daly who did it in 16 minutes 36 seconds and Darren Hunter 16.51. So they're the kind of times I'm aiming for. I have a feeling I'm going to need to do a fair bit better than that to get more than one point in this if I'm perfectly honest but I will be, I'll be keeping an eye on those times. Being a TT, what it has allowed me to do, I'll just show you, it has allowed me to jump on my rather striking looking Cervelo P5, I think it is. I've got to be honest, I'm not actually a fan of how TT bikes look. Um, just, just not my thing. But uh, it should be pretty fast. I've even got the most aero helmet on that I, I own in game, so for whatever difference that makes, and some nice deep rim MV wheels. Uh, so yeah, basically it. I'm going to just finish off my warm-up. I've done, I've been doing the route in reverse. Pretty gentle warm-up in the main, but a few bursts, reasonably high power, just to see how my legs and lungs are feeling. I'm not going to comment further on that. You'll, you'll see as soon as I cross the start line exactly what sort of shape I'm in. Don't think I've got much else to say, surprisingly. I'm certainly not going to be talking during the time trial. So this might be the last you hear from me. For this vlog and possibly forever depending on how this goes um, but fingers crossed I'm still breathing at the end of it and uh, I'll chat to you then okay I'm just coming through the S's to start the descent towards the finish banner I just spotted our buddy Snorefody the Velo Viking powering his way through the S's uh, again I, this is probably his warm up I don't, I don't know I can't tell if this is the end of his lap or he's about to start one just looking, checking out his Canyon bike. As TT bikes go, that one's quite smart. Looks pretty good. And where did he get that helmet from? Hang on a minute. Why have I not got one of those? Anyway, better get back to me so I can actually see what I'm doing. Ride on Velo Biking, good luck. Right, I want to carry some speed on this descent down to the banner so I cross the line at a fair, fair pace. Strategy, relatively conservative on the flats in the hope that that leaves me something in the legs to attack the climbs and in particular the ones at the back of the course through the S's as we come up to the finish. Baylor Viking's about to come past me. It's just eight seconds behind. All right, I'm going to stop talking now. I know it's not quite the start yet, but I'm going to start ramping it up, try and use this downhill to slingshot me over the start line. Here we go.
200. Getting cramped. the last time trial done. Anyway, this is something, no way that was quick enough for more than a point. I wanted to stop at about the halfway point. It doesn't feel good. But I promise I gave everything I got. Hopefully I can get some more miles in between now and our next league race, so, so I feel a bit more competitive and less likely to fall off the bike in a heap of my own puke. Oh dear. That was tough. I have no idea what my time was. I forgot to look at the clock when I came over the line. So I'm going to spin down a bit and jump off and go and check out Strava, see what time I did. Oh. Okay, here it is. Moment of truth. Oh, I've just remembered. I've just realised I, I lied. I did do some riding. As you can see there, dropping off Millie's PE kit, which was an absolutely disastrous ride for a number of reasons, which I'll go into in another vlog, which should have been uploaded before this vlog, but I've been jumping back and forwards. Uh, anyway, on with the point. WKG League, round 18, ITT. Segment time is 17.19. Oh, there's no way I'm getting more than a point for that. Oh, Jesus. Let's see who else has done it today. Look, my personal best is 15.04 on that, but that was probably in a really large bunch. 17.19, that's pitiful. All right, my clubs, WKG Racing league winter 1819 here we go wait for this to load up today oh look at oh, i mean some of these times look at that blair drader 1354 dave harmsworth 1407 <sighs> i'm not going to go through all of them but look all of these are 15 most of those are sub 15 wow uh, um, yeah i'm in trouble right who were my right pj 1636 so yeah he beat me Darren beat me wherever he is. Well, I can't. Oh, hang on. Where's Darren's in? So there's me, 1719. Oh, maybe Darren did his before. Right, so, yeah. Pretty pitiful. Velo Viking, 2101. Clearly, pardon me. Clearly, that was, uh, was not his fast lap. He can go a heck of a lot quicker than that. <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm in trouble here. So that's going to be. A pointless exercise in that I'm only going to get one point unless only a few people do it still. That's my best bet is that not many people turn up. Um, but yeah, everyone else has destroyed me. I do, uh, I was going to say, I have time to try again, but it's not going to get any quicker. It's already, what is it, it's just coming up to 7 o'clock. I've got until 9 o'clock this evening to do another one. Nah, it's not going to happen. Uh, there we go. Anyway, well done to everybody that has done these ridiculously quick times. I mean, look at that. Hans Petter Summerson, 15.04. I know you've not been well either, buddy, so great effort. Oh, there's Paul Elliott Kowalczyk. Um, okay, 15.04. So Paul is going to pick up some serious points, and he's only two points behind me in the league. I can't see Dwight. Did, has Dwight done it? Did he do it last Friday? Let's see if I can see this month. Let's see if that will filter down. What was the date on the Friday? The 8th, was it? Yeah, there we go. Friday 8th. Can we see Dwight Williams in there anywhere? Look, Snarefoli has done it in 15 flat on the 10th of March. So he's got some power to burn. Looking for Dwight Williams. I mean, Keith and Catherine, they've destroyed me. Jim Pope, oh, I mean, I'm not even... Jane, 15.58, great time. Carlos, 16.23, great time. Sorry, my front door just opened and it didn't look like there was anyone there. I thought the dog had just let himself out. 
Uh, so PJ Daly, yeah, it's got a time in there, 16.36. Um, but it was from Tuesday, so that's where I got that time from. Maybe that's what I got Darren's time from as well. Let's, look, let's go to the next page. Ah, uh, yes, Darren did it on Friday. 16.51, great time, Darren. So he kicked my ass. <sighs> anyway, I could stand here for ages depressing myself about how many people have beaten me. Thank you all very much for watching. Thank you again for riding. Obviously, there's still a couple of hours to go before the cutoff time. Make sure you get your finished Strava segment times uploaded to the relevant post. I had set up one official post for it, but um, some the other guys, the, the results team, have set up individual ones for each category. So either one, really, or preferably, obviously, their category ones, because I'm assuming that's the first place they're going to look. But if you do do them in the official pinned post as well, we'll take your time from that. Um, yeah, the next vlog, like I say, it's the one that should have come before this, where it's it was going to be a, a sort of annual review of my SRAM ETAP. Then it changed into me getting a nice new blingy gold chain, and it's a sort of fitting and testing of the new gold chain and the squirt wax lube stuff. Uh, the chain is on, looks absolutely amazing. I've not ridden it yet because the weather's been horrible, So, and you know me, I'm not taking my nice new gold shiny chain out in the manky weather, so that should be the next one. I might combine it into the ETAP review as well, um, if not that'd be a separate video, but they're, they're the next ones to come, so uh, keep an eye out for them, and I will see you all very soon.